Trey Gowdy. He was the chairman of the House Oversight Committee. He's a Fox News contributor. And, and Trey, I want to get your take on John Ratcliffe. He's been a frequent guest on this program. The president nominated him uh, to be the director of national intelligence, and he withdrew his name. Here is what my sources are telling me. I am hearing that Mitch McConnell and Richard Burr basically blew him off. He wanted, he called them to have a meeting with them, and they said, no, 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 we're busy. We have the budget. We can't do it. Then they came out publicly and said, well, I don't know. I don't really know him. They could have been more forceful in following the president's nomination and the president's pick, but they didn't. And I understand that partly it was because they felt they could not deliver Susan Collins' vote because Susan Collins said uh, John Ratcliffe was, quote, awfully rough on Mueller. So am I to believe right here that John Ratcliffe did not get the job because he did his job too well in questioning Mueller? I hope not. John Ratcliffe was offered the DNI job before Mueller ever set foot on, on campus, on the congressional campus. So all those stories about Johnny auditioning for the DNI, he was offered and accepted the job before Mueller ever set foot on Congress. Um, I can't speak for Leader McConnell. I know Senator Burr really well. Um, he called me Sunday. Uh, I was on vacation with my wife. He called me looking for looking for John's number. So I, I'm sure um, that John was something of an unknown commodity to the senators. I would have hoped that they would have done what I did, Maria. When I I opposed John Ratcliffe coming to Congress, I supported and endorsed his opponent, and then I did the strangest thing. I got to know him, and he became my favorite member of the house so last week was a tough week for those of us that know and care about him on a personal level it was also a tough week for people who care about facts while i'm reading he's auditioning for a job he's already accepted and it was also a tough week for people who care about equality and being treated justly i want you to contrast two people for me maria contrast kamala harris's background she's the only member of the senate that's on intel judiciary and their version of Homeland Security. Right. John Ratcliffe's the only member of the House that is on those same three committees. Hmm. They're both former prosecutors. Johnny's been in the House longer than she's been in the Senate. She's qualified to have her fingers on the nuclear code. She's qualified wow. to be the leader of the wow. free world, according to the media. But Johnny is not qualified to lead an obscure agency that almost no one's ever heard of. Yeah. That is duplicity. And if the media is wondering why Republicans think they're in the tank yeah, for Democrats, look no further well, than last week. And the Senate Republicans letting him down.